Cam, how do you view last week's defensive effort? Yes, it was a 200-yard rushing game, but you only gave up 13 points. Mm -hmm. You only gave up, I think, just a little over 300 yards. Is that a positive or a negative? Man, there was the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, the ugly was the 200 points. Um, the bad was, I think, uh, the time of possession. Uh, but the good was, you know, 13 points. Um, you know, our passing defense was good. And, um, you know, and the really good was picking up the W. Uh, and that's the ultimate goal. Um, you know, I think you take all of it together. Um, you can't take one without the other. Uh, and we just got to be an improving defense. Don't you guys kind of have to ugly things up a little bit like that, though? I mean, uh, it's good to win ugly. 42 times. And yeah. only, only get 13 points out of it. I mean, that's pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but that's a good ugly. Um, you know, it just shows that, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how long a series is or how many times they have the ball. Um, you know, you got to be a uh, relentless defense. Kim, are, are we back to where, where we were last year as far as COVID goes? And the teams are the, that are the most careful might have a winning edge and – you know, what, what's your message to the players as this thing kind of spreads throughout the league here? Be ready for the unpredictable. Um, you know, last year we got some unfortunate news uh, when we lost guys that we needed at certain times. Um, you know, hopefully this year we're more prepared, but um, we got to stay light on our feet. Um, you know, everybody thought we'd be in a better position, but, um, you know, COVID doesn't apply to our rules. Uh, we got to be able to just adjust on the fly. As the union rep, can you explain the uh, the random part of this new system where <laughs> if you're vaccinated? The random part was me finding out. So, <laughs> man, uh, you know, it, it wasn't my decision, but. Uh, um, I mean, can you ballpark it? Like, how many of you guys are getting tested? It uh, I don't think there are a lot of people getting tested, um, but the ones that are getting tested. Um, if they do test positive, then it becomes um, who you're around and um, they need to get tested as well. So it just becomes a domino effect in that approach. But, um, man, this is new to me as well. So um, I don't know if I signed up for this, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be ready. <laughs> is there concern about it, Cam? The Definitely. Um, you know, I think you have to be concerned when we go from – you know, every week testing to, you know, a random testing and uh, all these different things included, um, you know, have to keep your tracer on you. Um, and I think you just, um, there's a lot of unknown with this. We don't know really what we're dealing with. You mentioned winning ugly. Mm -hmm. um, you guys haven't had, I mean, there have been things about the season I'm sure you don't like, but yet you're a half game out with three games to play. Is there any sense of Yeah, you know, I think it's just the balls in our court. Um, it's what we do that matters. Um, you know, uh, I've never seen a team, um, you know, that was crowned champion that, you know, they're only looked at as that they won pretty or they won ugly. Um, I think, um, you know, to win, you just got to find ways to do it. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And I will never look over that or gloss over that. And uh, looking forward to getting to it. You got it done last week with turnovers. Mm -hmm. How do you carry that? I mean, I know there's different circumstances in games, but how do you carry that mentality over to, to keep forcing mistakes? I think, I think it comes down to being opportunistic, um, seizing those moments, um, but putting yourself in a good position to do that. Um, you know, executing on defense to know if we're in the right spot, we might cause more, more turnovers. Um, and I think if we do that, we'll be in a, a good spot doing that. The Chiefs aren't a, a heavy volume run team. Mm -hmm. um, you go into this looking at this, if they're missing the guys that, that are currently out, going, okay, their personality is, a, is, a, is to throw the football, but given what's happened with us lately, we got to expect them to try to run the football. It's a copycat league. Um, you know, if you're not doing something well, a team is definitely going to exploit that. Um, I do think we'll get a dose of run. Um, and, but you, at some point, the, you're not going to change your whole personality. 
and you know there's going to be things you're going to do but uh we got to clean up some, st some stuff so if they do go to the run we're able to stop it and you know make them go on to something else that might not be a bad thing if Mahomes is going to throw the ball 15 20 times right yeah we can give the ball in his hands uh we're, we're in a good position <laughs> Man, uh, there's not an angle on the field he can't throw at, and uh, he can make you pay in uh, different volumes. And um, you know, doesn't it, we don't say enough about the the skill PCC does have, but um, you know, the mobility, the arm strength, the accuracy. Um, you know, he's the all elite quarterback that can do it all. Kim, when you, when you said earlier that that stuff was news to you, there was a report that. Man, if the all elite quarterbacks are getting together, deciding in the league, we are not uh, in a good position because then uh, defenses are going to suffer from here on out. <laughs> but uh, you know, I I don't know if there is a there was a call, um, but I, I would like to think uh, that uh, as the voter rep, you find out a little bit more information beforehand. Um, some of that is just we talk to. Um, our, our reps uh, for the um, union and you know just making sure we're all up to date but um, this thing is changing every every day um, NFL comes out with some PA comes out with some um, you know I'm just trying to make sure I inform my guys if Wormley can't fight on Sunday who steps in Isaiah Loudermilk um, and you know I'm looking to, for him to take the next step if that comes about um, you know, it's going to be a group effort, but Isaiah's going to have to play big for us. You like what you've seen from him? Yes. <laughs> but there's more to be done. So, you know, it, what I've liked is, is great, but what I'm expecting is even better. What's the significance of the Pro Bowl for you? Uh, you know, it's awesome to be recognized. Um, you know, I, I work my tail off. Um, you know, I remember years ago where it was hard to get in and, um, you know, I always wanted to be a pro bowler, um, but, you know, that's only, you know, a chapter in the book. You know, it's not something I can just hang my hat on and say, oh, the season's done. You know, there's a lot more to be accomplished, and uh, hopefully I'm still writing the story.